Good morning, I'm Andrew Warsati. The Italian Championship moves into round 30 and our feature match comes from the San Siro Stadium. Inter faces Milan in the passionate local derby which lived up to its billing back in round 13. They matched each other blow for blow in a thrilling two-all draw. Space, little ball over the top was a good one! Tremendous goal that! By Hakan Shuka! And here is Boban! Oh, that's brilliant! Taken quickly. Oh! I don't believe it! Di Biagio with a screamer! Good cross. Anyone touched it? These great rivals are neck and neck on 44 points apiece after 29 matches. With the Scudetto out of their reach, the aim is to finish fourth and salvage a spot in next season's European Champions League. Your commentator is Les Murray. It is one of the most intense rivalries in world football. And that the match was brought forward because of Italy's general elections. The only numbers these players and fans will be interested in is the number of goals scored against the opposition. Andre Shevchenko is poised again to figure in those numbers. His penalty against Perugia last week brings his tally to 21 goals for the season, making him again the top marksman in Italy. To the lineups and for Inter, Luigi Di Biagio has passed a late fitness test, so he takes his place in the midfield. So the team is unchanged from last week, giving another start to the 21-year-old local product, Matteo Ferrari at right back. AC Milan is missing Ambrosini, Albertini and Coco, so it's still a makeshift midfield. No Oliver Bierhoff up front, allowing for the entry of Gianni Comandini in the starting lineup for the very first time to face the daunting task of partnering Shevchenko in attack. Marco Tardelli, who of course was once Italy's under-21 coach, having taken over from his rival today, Cesare Maldini, and it's Signor Collina, Pierluigi Collina, one of the most recognized referees in the world, who will be the man in the middle today. Pressure on both of these coaches. They are, of course, chasing a Champions League spot, but whatever the other tasks, the ancillary tasks may be, you've got to win the local derby. So we're off, and Inter and AC Milan level on the table at the moment on points, but as I say, a Champions League place is in the offing. Shevchenko in a tight ring. Dalma finding Rekova. And the ball slips away. Inter away at Parma next week. AC Milan home to Fiorentina. Tough matches still to come. Cesare Maldini is the oldest coach in the Serie A. There's his son, Paolo. It's ironic that a man who has been such a fixture in Italian football for all these years has to be 69 before he coaches a club team or certainly a club team as elite as this Paolo Maldini this is Serginho the Brazilian dangerous cross in for Comandini, who's very eager to consummate his place. And the clearance was desperation stuff away by the Slovakian Gresko. It's a corner. And the Brazilian Serginho has gone across to take it. It's a short one, though. Here's Serginho again. Gattuso over the throw. 76,000 people at the Meazza here in San Siro. Not quite capacity, but it's a huge gathering. 
as Shevchenko again tried to break through. Inter Milan marshalled by the great Frenchman Laurent Blanc at the anchor of the defence. Here's Serginho rampaging. There are men in the middle, oh, and it's 1-0 to Milan. The scorer is the young man, Comandini. Well, he was preferred for the tall, prolific German, Oliver Bierhoff. And Cesare Maldini's choice has been vindicated. But one has to say that the most effective component of that goal was the presence of the Brazilian Serginho. He's found a home on the left flank of defence in front of Paolo Maldini tonight. And it's reaped big dividends already. So we've had just... Three minutes, and Milan leading 1-0. And there may have been a question of offside. I didn't see too many protestations, but it was touch and go. But the linesman allowed it, and I have to say that in this world where the assistant referees with the flag tend to always play it safe, nearly always play it safe and favour the defending side. It's good to see that the, if there was an error, the error was on the side of the attacking team. Marco Tardelli, a great player with uh, the great Juventus of the mid-80s. A free kick then to Inter. Laurent Blanc has come forward and he's grappling there and he goes down now he's claiming a push or at least obstruction but Signor Collina remains silent I think he was grappling with Roca Junior there the Brazilian and uh, well, take your pick whether that was a foul or not. Maro Tassotti on the bench with Cesare Maldini. Free kick to Internazionale. Christian Vieri, who has been prolific in the games that he has played. He missed eight games this season already. But he's rattled up 16 goals to date. Only five less than uh, Shevchenko, who had no such injury problems. It's a square ball. And no problems for Sebastiano Rossi, who is deputising for Abbiati at the ripe old age of 36. A reliable man. But he's been there most of the season, Sebastiano Rossi. That's away by Maldini. Helveg, in, uh, in fact. Dacoba will take the corner. In fact, he's been asked to leave it. It's a throw to be taken by Gresco. 23-year-old Slovak. In Australia for the Olympic Games. In fact, there are five players here, including ones on the bench who were in the Olympics. Dalma. Oh, it's dangerous. Well, I take it back, saying that Rossi was all that reliable. He should have held that. It was a fierce drive. 
di viaggio Maldini directing the traffic at the back Roca Junior and Serginho is away and he's got plenty of room and it's two Comandini scored them and Serginho made them both of them this young man is having a hell of a night scoring two goals already and we're not even halfway through the first half and he scored them in a Milan derby. Serginho's cross was immaculate. Comandini rising, coming towards the ball, away from his defender. It was exemplary stuff. So, 2-0. And the Red and Blacks lead. Dalma tackled and the throw given away by uh, Gattuso. He's Dalma again. Helveg dispossesses him and it's an inter throw. But let's have a look at this again. No question of, off of offside there. Not, at least not for Serginho when he received the ball. course the cross was backwards so no question of offside there beautiful goal Shevchenko and there's a free man here and it's a trip and what's the referee given has he given it he's given it against the Milan player and he's booked him Dario Simic. Well, it looked like a ankle tap from behind to me. <laughs> so I'm not sure what Colina booked him for. It may have been for a dive. He gave the free kick anyway in his favour. But so it could have been for the dive. What he thought was a dive or a or a over exuberant protest, which didn't look over exuberant to me. But there you have it. It's a free kick to Milan, and a yellow card to Comandini. So a free kick, ricocheting off the wall. Here's Gattuso. There are men in the middle. Plenty of them. Serginho came ghosting in and he may have had his first goal of the game on top of his contribution to the other two long forward Di Viaggio or, sorry Christian Vieri gallops away and he was there was an attempt attempted rugby tackle on Christian Vieri it may have been in or out and surely it's a foul it's an attempted rugby tackle which has robbed Christian Vieri that's an amazing decision that's an amazing decision not to give a at least a free kick there if it was outside and a penalty if it was inside there was some shirt pulling from both sides. Well, Pierluigi Colina thought it was innocent stuff from Roca Junior. Not so this man, of course. So we now have our first substitution as Farinos goes off and the Frenchman Kawe comes on to reinforce the defense. Farinos. Looks like suffering from some kind of groin problem.
Benoit Kawe. Who came here from PSG. Milan on the attack again. Great turn, terrific save by Frey. And good work by Blanc. But again, it was a fabulous incident in front of the Inter Milan goal. Vieri. Good turn. Kawe with a cross and it'll go out for a corner. So we have a corner at uh, the other end, but at this end, again, magnificent work by Comandini. And the goalkeeper, I'm not sure how much he knew about it. A little bit fortunate that the shot went straight at him. Here's the corner. Helbeck. Gresko uh, chases back. Christian Vieri. Walker Jr.'s timely intervention. And Rekoba, who's covering a lot of ground tonight is going to take the in-swinging corner from the other side. They're calling it the Derby of Hope. Not so much the classic Derby because at the core of it is the hope for the future and hope for qualification to the Champions League. That's the scoreline as we approach the break. Just one minute added on, or to be added on. And Milan will play out for time here. They don't want a morale-boosting goal back from Inter before that whistle goes for the break. Paolo Maldini, Costa Curta. Great veteran for AC Milan, 35 last month, 373 appearances in the Serie A. Three hundred sixty-seven overall for Milan. And as good as ever, really. And so is Laurent Blanc. So there goes the whistle from uh, Signor Collina. And in the derby of hope, the team with uh, great hope is AC Milan. And the hero is Gianni Comandini. Work to do for Inter Milan in the second half. It's Inter nil, AC Milan 2. Marco Tardelli is in charge of Inter in their 249th meeting down the years and they go back a very long time with Inter having the, uh, well sorry, AC Milan having the upper hand, 93 wins against 86 for Inter, 69 draws, but in the Serie A, Inter have the edge, 56 wins over Milan's 48 out of 155 previous meetings. What wonderful derbies they may have been. Clarence Sedov has come on. For Inter Milan. To replace Di Biagio. So Clarence Sedov, who's been such a star of Ajax and Sampdoria and Real Madrid, down the years, he's really only been a substitute this season for Inter. Cesare Maldini would have played in quite a few of these derbies, but this is his first as a coach.
Ferrari back. And now forward, here's Kawe. AC Milan knitting the attacks together with rather more efficiency than Inter have been doing. I'm not sure what adjustments Cesare Maldini wants to make here, but this is a good break by Inter. Zanetti got away beautifully here, and then he appeared to before he made the cross. Here's the corner, punched away by Rossi, and then by... Then knocked on by Serginho. Still 2-0 to Milan. Zanetti forward. Is Rekoba. And that's much too long for Zanetti. Paolo Maldini. Another of those veterans. He's now 32. It seems like he's been around long enough to be 42, but he started as a very young man. As a regular fixture, not just of AC Milan, but of the Italian national team. He debuted in 1984, Paolo Maldini. Well, Andrei Shevchenko, who's been proficient all season, but there has been a problem with him having the right sort of partner. And uh, he's found one tonight, even though it wasn't strictly a product of work between them, those two goals by Comandini. And it's an AC Milan free kick again. And it's gone in, eluded the goalkeeper, eluded everybody. Giunti, so probably surprised even himself. It was an innocuous looking free kick. but it had a nasty bounce at the end of it. And Frey was completely eluded. Serginho made the attempted diving header, which may have put the goalkeeper off. But I don't think that's an excuse. So it's AC Milan 3. Internazionale, nil. Ferrari. Away by Roca Junior. Shevchenko waits. Shimic away. Koba, the Uruguayan, always hungry, didn't get the return from Vieiro, Vieri who tries one himself. And here is that remarkable goal, which will be credited to Junti, even though he had not the faintest plan to actually score from there. Dalma, Rekoba, into playing with really only one out-and-out -out striker, who's Christian Vieri, with Rekoba, the other nominal striker, having a, just about a free roll. Laurent Blanc denied that time. Scorer of some wonderful and important goals, including ones in the World Cup. So, Jose Marie 
another veteran of the Sydney 2000 Olympics getting ready to come on. So AC Milan leading 3-0 comfortably. Now can afford to uh, relieve some aching legs as Vieri arrives perfectly, but the execution of the shot let him down. Jose Marie will replace Comandini, and he's going to get a massive amount of applause from the fans of the Rossoneri. Gianni Comandini, scorer of two wonderful goals in the first half, which set AC Milan on their way. So, a corner for Inter. Away. Serginho, one of the heroes of the day, and he gallops away like a greyhound here. He's brought down, and again, the referee says no. And I tend to agree. Is Recoba. Zanetti. Well, it's been that kind of day for Inter. There have been a few chances, a few well constructed moves, but the finishing has let them down. Serginho obstructed by Zanetti. Well, this used to be the football capital of Italy. It is no longer. And that's borne out by some very important figures as this lovely cross again comes in for Shevchenko. Well, when you've got Comandini scoring two goals and Junti another, and then you've got Shevchenko in reserve with his sharp shooting, you're looking pretty good for the day. But just to get back to the issue of the football capital of Italy, Rome, with its two clubs, Roma and Lazio, have so far accumulated a massive 35 more points than the two Milanese clubs. And that was really the case before, if ever. Serginho, the Brazilian, who's been a revelation today. Good-looking cross under pressure! And what a great goal! A terrific goal by Shevchenko and... The man to thank once again is the Brazilian Serginho. He's been absolutely devastating on that left flank. And if the Brazilian national coach gets a view of this, he will be sleeping well tonight. Because Serginho has been absolutely lethal and Shevchenko arrives beautifully for the cross and the pressure under which that cross was made made Marco Terdelli bury his head in disbelief 4-0 to AC Milan in what is officially the away game for them so what does Inter do from here and it's almost time to look at the record books down the years. A victory of this kind 
if it was to stay this way, would be extremely unusual in these Milan derbies. Serginho. Maldini. Jose Marie dispossessed. By Laurent Blanc. Inter goes hunting for a face saver. Zedov. This is an interesting looking break. Lekoba with a nice chip. And well pushed away by the goalkeeper. I think there may have been a slight defection on the way. But very good thinking by the Uruguayan here. And Rossi did well. May have even been handball. Well, if it was handball, it should be a penalty. But of course, it wasn't. Helbig is down. Uh, the biggest win by either party in these derbies down the years was 5-0 back in 1910 into the victors that day. And now we have a silly man coming onto the field who wants to take the ball away. Well, this beautiful game does attract some pretty ugly people and pretty silly ones at that. It's uh, a bit of suspension to play at the San Siro as a certain imbecile is being escorted away. It's amazing the security at these grounds. The one would not know how it was possible for that man to actually enter the playing area. Now, we're on the way. Maldini. Serginho back to his skipper. Here's Calaggio, the Georgian. And he's looking to find a way through. Good cross. Shevchenko! And Milan go further ahead. So there it is. It's 5-0. And that 5-0 victory by Inter Milan back in 1910, if it stays this way, has been avenged. Took a long time coming. But the players, such as Shevchenko, who scored this one, would be thinking it's been worth the wait. And they've all been good goals, really. So two by Comandini, two by Shevchenko, and that one accident really by Junti make up the difference between the two teams. The finishing by Milan tonight has been absolutely devastating. Dalma. Sedorf back, and it sails over for a goal kick as another Brazilian, Leonardo, prepares to come on. Now, he's a left-sided player normally. I wonder who is going to be the man to make way for him as we look at this copybook fifth goal by AC Milan. This is a great story here at the San Siro. As Milan now push the ball about attempting to turn on the style and here they come again 
Lovely stuff. Serginho! Yes! It's six! Well, it's a fairy tale for this Brazilian and a fairy tale of fairy tales for AC Milan. The biggest win that they have ever hammered on Inter Milan has been six goals to three back in 1911. And it's now 6 0. And thanks largely to this Brazilian, Serginho, who made three of the goals and scored one. This is a fabulous night for the Rossoneri. It's 6 0. What an unbelievable scoreline. Given that over the last 35 years, a three goal margin between these two teams has only been achieved twice. Not to mention a six goal margin. Rekoba, who's certainly not to be blamed for Inter's miserable night. Although it has to be sa said that while recriminations will be aimed at the Inter defence, there hasn't been much for them up front either. Well, these players who took part in this momentous victory will remember it forever. It's not a final, it's not a crucial match in terms of uh, championship victories or a European final. It's not a climactic match of any description, just a run-of-the-mill Serie A championship game, but it is a derby. And the Milan derbies are something quite special. And to be part of a team that wins 6-0 in one of those is really one for your scrapbook. Now we have a Milan player down. Into coming into this disaster. Kalaja, the Georgian, was the man who was brought down as Marco Tardelli confirms, and I'm sure he's a little bit short on answers. But into coming into the game after an excellent 3 0 win against Atalanta last week, the air is scoring twice, but this has been quite a different night. Pierluigi Collina, who's expressionless tonight as he has been at any other night but he will remember this as one of the most momentous games in which he was involved as will Gianni Comandini as will Andrei Shevchenko but for me the hero of the game the Brazilian Serginho it's an amazing scoreline with which to finish a derby Internazionale nil AC Milan 6